everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna be unboxing the Universal Yums Super Yum box for the month of October. If you're unfamiliar with Universal Yums, they are a monthly snack subscription where every month you get snacks from a different country. I believe this month is Austria. There are three different size subscriptions that you can get. So the Super Yum, which I get is the biggest, and it is $39 a month, and I believe you get 20 plus different snacks and more um, duplicates of some of the other snacks. And then they have a $25 subscription, which is the Yum Yum box, and their smallest is 15, which is their Yum box. So you don't get all the snacks in those subscriptions, and you don't get as many duplicates as you do. So like, instead of getting one hard candy, you may get four in this box, for example. I will leave a link down below if you're interested in signing up. If you're new to my channel, I do lots of different unboxing videos here from food, lifestyle, home decor, beauty, bath, and everything in between. So if you love subscription boxes, go ahead and subscribe. And let's go ahead and get into the box for October. Um, I will also be reading the um, spoiler for next month so we can guess which country it's going to be. When you open it up, this is what it looks like. They have a little pamphlet talking about Austria on it. Then on the back, they list all the snacks where you can rate them. If you share a picture of this on social media, you may win um, some free snacks. And then they have their booklet going over everything about Austria. Now, one thing about this video is I'm not going to taste any of these snacks. I just live with my sister, so if I open all of them now, they're going to go bad by the time I get to them. So if you wanted to watch somebody taste them, I'm not gonna be doing that here, but there's plenty of other YouTubers um, that do, so you can go ahead and check them out. And then this is what it looks like in there. So in the booklet, it um, welcomes you to the country, which is Austria. It tells a little bit about the country. There's some trivia, which is always really fun to go through. And then it talks about all of the snacks. Now, I'm not gonna read all the information and why they chose it and the history behind each snack unless I don't understand what it's saying, but I do speak German, so I might be able to understand some of the stuff in here. Then it talks about like the, the Habsburger family and their, um, always is a recipe, and this one is Tirol la Grust. So that is that there. And then on the back, they have the clue for next month, so let me go ahead and read that and let me know in the comments below where you think we're going. Our next destination boasts great works of art, mosaic lizards, melting clocks, and that's just the start. Even the yums are masterpieces with flavors so bold, from smoky sweet chili to chocolate caramel gold. So let me know in the comments below where you think we're going next month, and let's go ahead and look at these snacks. So the first thing that I'm pulling out is Pombea ketchup style snacks. I believe we got these in the German box too, but they're really good, I like them. Um, so they are just little like potato type of things, but they have a little bit of ketchup flavor on them and they're very, very yummy. The next thing is another bag of chips and this is the Sunland Farm Garden Style Sour Cream Chips. I'm not a huge fan of flavored potato chips or just regular potato chips. Those I can eat because they're like puffed up, so I'll probably give these to my sister. But if you like chips, these actually do look really, really good. The next thing I'm pulling out is Kelly's Original Snips. These are knusprig, luftig, und zart. And it looks like these are just like peanut puffs. So those look gummy. There's gotta be chocolate in here. I know there's gotta be here in a second. Also from Kelly's we have paprika chips. So it's just potato chips that have paprika on them. So just paprika. Or as you say in German, paprika. <laughs> Very similar. Those look good. I might, I might actually eat these because they don't really have paprika flavored chips in the U.S. Also from Kelly's, we have a uh, um, Arena, a uh, paprikan style. So again, I don't know, Cigoyna Arena. Is this just regular like potato? Let me see if it says specifically in here about them. Oder auch vielleicht nicht, ne? Oh, sorry, my brain switched. <laughs> um, so these are corn, wheat, and potato snacks. And they have the paprika flavoring on them. Those are gonna be good. And then another thing from Kelly's, there's a lot, are mini fritz. They're creamy onion flavored uh, mini fritz. So they're like little mini french fry type of things and they're in the creamy onion flavor. Don't love that flavor, but I will give them a try. If not, my sister will be very, very happy with them. Ooh, okay. Okay, the next thing is from Pischinga and this is their Mandelecken. Knusprige Waffeln mit Mandelcreme Füllung in feiner Form mit Schokolade. So they're like wafer cakes, almond cream filling type of thing. So like little wafers. Those are gonna be really good. I'm excited for them. Like Austria, Germany, those type of countries, they just have the best chocolate. So the next one is for, from um, Konditor Hauswirth, and this is uh, Vollmilch Schokolade. So it's just a regular 
um, chocolate, 30% cocoa. Yum. I am in like a chocolate mood right now, so this is great for me. Oh, schwarze Johannisbeere. Okay, so there's like a jelly inside. Johannisbeere is not a bear, it's a berry. Um, we don't have it in the US. I love it. My grandma has some in her garden in Germany. Um, and these are, but these are the black version. So it's a jelly and then it's covered in dark chocolate. I actually really love jellies covered in chocolate. So I'm excited to try these. This sounds right up my alley. And I personally love Johannisbeeren, but I know not everybody does. They tend to be a little bit bitter. Ooh, Schoko Erdbeeren von Hauswirth. So these, oh, Erdbeerschaum. So it's like um, a strawberry, like foam, kind of, covered in chocolate. Oh my God, I love that. Hauswirth is making me very happy right now. And this is from Wien, um, Austria. Oh my goodness. This is probably my, the thing I'm most excited about so far. Then we got a couple little wafers. So von Kessner, we have Milchwafflets. It looks like they're just like wafers with milk, but it also looks like they probably have some strawberry cream in there just based on the picture. Yum. A lot of times I have to look in the book, but because I speak German, this is a little bit easier for me whenever we have the German boxes because I just know exactly what it says. Ooh, um, house, from um, House Wirth, they have a big banana, mit echten Bananenmark. So this is basically has like a banana, I'm guessing like a foam filling, like it's like a chocolate covered banana. Years ago when I first signed up for Universal Yums, I actually think my first box or second box was Austria and they had a whole bag of these and they're really good. Or something similar, just like chocolate covered banana, which is very yummy. Then we have um, a glazed gingerbread with nuts. So it's like a gingerbread cookie it looks like. This is written in English. <laughs> But it looks really good and this reminds me of like Christmas time. Like these are the type of cookies they have in like Christmas time in Germany and Austria. So I am excited to eat that. Then from Hauswirth, there's a cool mint lemon. Schokoladenpraline mit erfrischner Minzfüllung und lemon geschmack. Okay, so these kind of look like peppermint patties, but they have a lemon and mint in the middle. It's kind of the vibe that I'm getting from this. Yum. I like peppermint patties, so I'm all about that. Um, what do we want to do next? So these are um, Maria Theresa Pralinien um, from Salzburg Schokolade. So it's um, filled milk chocolate pralines um, and has nougat cream and f big hazelnut, like full hazelnuts inside. And they're very pretty decorated. I think these are not cheap, but I'm excited to try these. Yum. From Bubby. From Salzburg Schokolade, it's a bubby. What is this then? I've never, I don't know what this is. Let me read what it says. <laughs> it doesn't describe it on the packaging, which is why I can't figure it out. Um, this is a milk chocolate bar with banana nougat and crispy wheat rice. Ooh, I love banana flavored stuff. I know a lot of people don't, but I am all for this. This box is like awesome. Okay, the next thing is from Kasna, and this is their Nut Joe. Um, hazelnut waffle, so it's just like a wafer waffle covered in chocolate and it has hazelnuts inside. Yum. Again from Kasna, we have a Lebkuchenriegel mit echter Fruchtfüllung. Sagt ich welche Frucht? It's a um, Lebkuchen. Well, how do you translate that? Let me see. Um, plum filled gingerbread with dark chocolate coating. Okay, plum. That's that makes sense from the pictures. That looks yummy to me too. They kind of covered it with the label on the wrong side of this, but that's what it looks like there. So you can kind of see it better. Yum. I like fruit and chocolate. Um, then we also have from Pischinger a hazelnuss riegel. So again, the same like waffle thing that has a hazelnut cream and the wafer is coated with dark chocolate and hazelnuts. They tend to put a lot of wafers from the German countries, Germanic countries, Germany and Austria, but I don't really ever eat them when I'm there. I'm not a huge fan of them, honestly, but it will taste good, so I'm okay with that. And then the last thing is uh, Vida. It's again um, the Salzburg Schokolade Bobby Bar, but, but <laughs> my brain is switching. This time it's with caramel, um, just the caramel version. Um, so caramel nougat and crispy wheat rice. 
So those are all of the snacks that you get in the Super Yum box for October in Austria. This was super fun for me. Um, I'm really excited to try all of these snacks. Again, let me know where you think we're going next month. I will leave a link down below if you're interested in signing up. I'd also love to hear your thoughts about the subscription. What snacks do you want to try? Um, what snacks did you try that you liked, that you didn't like? I'm curious to hear all of that in the um, comments down below. And I will see you in my next video.